Hi everyone, I have finished my miniature enchanted forest and I thought I would share a flip through with you. Um, thank you for joining me. Anyone who's new to the channel, I know the flip throughs tend to sometimes um, bring in people who may not have seen the channel before. Please um, like, please consider subscribing. Um, it does make a difference to the channel and thank you for joining me. Now let's have a look and get started. So I've completed two copies of enchanted forest already. So this was a little bit different it was a little more complicated because of the smaller design. I have done flip throughs of my two completed Enchanted Forests and a comparison flip through where you can see them both together and see how much my colouring changed. I'll leave links for those in the description, but let's get going. So I didn't do this bit. I don't always colour that um, these parts. I find them a little bit difficult because of the because um, of the material the cover's made of. But I did colour this. It's a little bit faint. I used um, a Tombow erosion pencil, I think. You see, it's got a little bit of a mark from where that cover touches there. So I didn't do too much with that one. But I sort of started proper on this page. So uh, it's quite a plain one to start with. Um, just a sort of sunshine, really. Something nice and bright to draw you in, hopefully. Now this one was fun. I used a Sarah Rennie, Sarah Rennie Clark colour cube card and um, so it had a colour scheme for me and I used it on there. It had black which is really unusual for me to use a, a sort of black for items in the picture but I really like this sort of autumnal theme. Now a lot of these pictures as is that one are coloured with Stedler pencils because they keep their point really well so that's what I have been doing. Now this one was quite daunting because although there's only a very small amount on the page it's very tiny so I decided just to use one colour and that just made it a little bit quicker and easier for me. Had I kept chopping and changing trying to make those acorns and things different colours I think I wouldn't have found it so much fun but I did enjoy that one. Now this book has these little detailed, smaller details of main pictures. Now this is different to in the main Enchanted Forest which is, only has this one. This is just a little bit taken out um, which is fun and I have a tutorial video for every single one of these small ones so that's if you're interested you can have a look. Um, I'll put a link in the description to my um, miniature enchanted forest playlist and every video tutorial flip through and things like that anything that I've done from this book is in there. Now this one was fun I didn't know what to do to make it a little bit different and its detail around here was rather daunting for me so I obviously did my sort of gold style compass but I decided to do this sort of um, sun sunny tight background sunset sunrise whatever it is and then use the black and um, that's actually a fine liner pen for the detailing around the edge just to silhouette it across and I found that quite fun and uh, I rather like how it looks to be honest. Now, again this one I did quite a long time ago but there is a tutorial so you can see how I did the sort of shiny sword that sort of thing. Uh, but this one I did rather more recently and uh, it is a picture that I always enjoy doing so it's a lot of fun with all different details in there. I can't tell you which pencils I use for most of them. A lot of them as I said before would have been the Stedler. Although this one, these are pastels, I think here they may have been the Kors brand of pastel pencils because they're easier to colour with but there's some green here and I think this was a um, colour cube card palette as well. So we've got our pink, our blue, our green and our sort of um, peachy background which was fun. But keeping everything the same colour does make it a lot quicker and uh, sometimes I think it just makes the picture look rather fun. Both of these are actually tutorials so you can watch both. This has obviously got a um, silver pen in the background there shining away um, which was fun to do. And we have our squirrel. Um, again this one is a lovely autumnal um, tutorial and this one I kept with the autumn colours. I always feel that this looks autumnal but had fun with this sort of um, sunset slash rise. I'm never sure which is which. In the background. Now this one, um, I had a real fun with this one. I think I used 
Bambino crayons for that tutorial. It was a really popular one actually um, and it was a lot of fun and I know to have used the gold and silver ones for that bit. I've lost the gold Bambino crayon. I don't know where it's gone. It's on the floor somewhere I'm sure. And this one again I used a colour cube card for which is why the owl is maybe a strange colour but it was fun. And uh, we have these two are really different. Again, this was a colour cube card and I just kept everything. This It was such fun, really different. Not something I would have done without the prompt of a card. But when I got that prompt with those colours, I just decided to do everything the same. And it was so fun. And I really think it's very effective. This obviously looks completely different. I just chose some pinks and purples for that one, which I did a long time ago. This one, I'm always finding this picture a bit tricky. Um, the stag never looks very happy and the fact that Johanna, this one, normally the stag is across the spine of the book and it's a symmetrical design but this one had been shifted so the stag wasn't in the spine and it just didn't seem to work very well somehow in my head and so I didn't have the enthusiasm for the colouring. I've used Georgie own pencils there I can tell as well which didn't go down that well to be honest but anyway it is what it is but this stag is rather better used a bit of um soft pastel in the background there just to add something there kept all the birds the same color again because they're teeny tiny i do have some tutorials for birds um in one of the other um enchanted forest books where they're nice and colorful but these i just kept playing again a limited palette um a bit of fun a bit of um magic with uh, with pink and purple leaves, so uh, that was interesting. Now this one was uh, quite the uh, <laughs> quite the bright picture. Um, I basically um, was using up my gel pens, so I used a glittery pens for all the leaves. Some of them are more glittery than others, and plain ones for the trunks of the tree, and then just some splodges of pastel. Um, all over the background, really bright, really colourful, just decided to go for it, try something different and mad. <laughs> it's certainly bright. <laughs> and uh, this triangular one, get quite detailed, so I sort of kept a very limited colour palette um, to that one, just to make it a little bit easier for me. And this one is from a colour cube card again so we've got reds and pinks and greys not colours that I would necessarily especially with this rusty red colour put together but uh, it just opens the mind really to different colour combinations this little rabbit was done last Easter for a tutorial I think so we've got the um, pastel colours on the body and then we've got various different cloud colours with a cloud template in the background with soft pastels. It was just a bit different and uh, I enjoyed it. Whereas this little chap, he's uh, he's done. He looks like he's done with pastel tint pencils but with the, um, the gold inker and the uh, bright, I can't remember what that green's called, but uh, anyway, he's quite plain. Uh, this was a really popular page that I did um, where I've used um, gel pens but I've used a sparkly one around the edge where the um, where the, there's a line drawn by Johanna and uh, to sort of outline it so that's fun the whole page is covered in glitter now so you can't really see that the some parts are sparkly and some aren't because it's just spread everywhere but it was good fun this one was quite daunting with all the acorns. I find it quite a daunting page, so I kept to a really limited colour palette. Again, the Giorgione pencils, um, and kept them all the same, and it just made it a lot easier for me to do. And I didn't use many different colours. There's only three there that I used just to keep it simple. Whereas this page I had lots of fun with. I do love this design. I, um, I've just recently done this one for the um, planner, actually. Um, with a tutorial but uh, it's uh, it looks a bit different actually I'll show you because it's quite fun um, this is the planner version it's facing the other way <laughs> and I didn't do metallic on the chest because I did actually it's, I think it's metallic pencil not um, I didn't try and make it gold but uh, anyway that's just a bit of fun so uh, that's that one I did that one quite a long time ago but it is one that I enjoy doing now this one I did quite recently actually, I had fun with this, um, our fox and squirrel decided to pair them up, make them look 
you know, like a double page spread with a sort of soft pastel background. The pastel in the camera, it looks a bit dirty. In real, it's quite a sort of orangey, yellowy, you know, I tried to use the same colours that I used in the animals really, so that was fun. Now this one was done with a colour cube card, so we had a sort of rust colour, we had a sort of gold and um, a green, the green and orange and this um, sort of colour. So it was a lot of fun actually and I really like this page anyway. So uh, it was good fun to colour that one. I'm not sure about Mr Orange Snail. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite bright, isn't he? Now again, this one is a um, tutorial. It's fun. It's got quite mucky from this side. But this side I did actually is a buddy colour, I think. And uh, I love this page. And I used my polychroma. I spent quite a long time on it. You can see really that it's. Um, I've spent longer on it than maybe some of the others. But uh, I enjoyed it. And my gold mushrooms, I think, look really fab. Um, I'd want one. Cup in the vase on the mantelpiece. That one again is a tutorial you can look at. This one I wanted to look like a stained glass window. So I used glitter pens um, for most of it and then obviously a black for the edge. Just a bit different really. This was a video that I did to test out my I'm looking polycolour pencils I think. Maybe it was my Stedler's. Not sure. So the colours are quite um, varied. Usually I try and keep to a sort of limited palette. And obviously I haven't done any sort of thing with the background or anything. It was just a test page. But uh, it was fun. Now this one you can see is metallic. It's just metallic um, gel pens. So that was fun. Whereas this one is uh, has a metallic gel pen in the background, but soft pastel clouds, and the um, I'm not sure it's Derwent pencils for the um, actual dragonfly. There's loads of glitter all over the page, but I can't work out what was glittery. <laughs> don't know. So anyway, <laughs> that was fun. This one I um, have done lots of times actually is rather fun. I do love this tree. I don't know why. I really enjoy colouring that tree. Who knows why? Um, this one I used for a few step-by-step -step tutorials. This here and this here and this here and the bottle I think. Um, and they are available in my Kofi shop as um, with photos and words rather than a spoken video tutorial for anyone who prefers that sort of thing. So there, there's a few in there and the rest of it I just did on camera. This one was done with two. I had a Pablo pencil to try <laughs> so that was pretty much trying out that Pablo pencil on that page. This one oops, is done with um, past, uh, that's Holbein pastel pencils there. I'm not sure about those poor green birds. They don't look too well do they? <laughs> I was going to do them black but I wanted to try out every colour. <laughs> I think this was actually a video where I tried out the whole buying pencils. So, it's that one. Now, this is done with Prismacolor, um, I think. Not sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, much more vibrant, as you can see. That's fun. Um, this one, I'm not really, I can't remember doing this one at all. There's a bit of yellow cloud in the background. Don't know what pencils I've used. Looks like it could be Stedler. Here for this one, there is a video tutorial for the gold um, feather. There's one for this one, which is a step by step written tutorial in my Kofi shop, and the others are, I think it's those two are on my um, on, on YouTube. Um, by the way, Kofi shop everything is free, so uh, if you want to go and investigate, you can. The link is in the description plain little leaves. Now this tree I'm always a bit don't know what to do with it so I decided to keep the tree conventional and make a shiny gold an entrance so that something exciting is inside and the uh, the little dot bits are done in a shiny pen because yeah I didn't know what else to do I thought it was quite fun. 
Now this one is again a tutorial that was rather fun and this was done again with a limited colour palette, a Sarah Rene Clark colour cube card just because I never know what to do with this one so I grabbed a card. What I'm doing with my colour cube cards is I'm working through them in number order so I just grab the next one and go for it so it could be anything so it's rather fun. Yeah, This one I did just the other day. Um, this was actually the very last page I finished in the book. Um, I have done it a lot of times um, for the planner um, in my other books and things like that and I wasn't really sure what to do so I decided to keep a limited colour palette to make it easier so all the tree trunks, all the wood, the leaves, the doors, the windows are all the same, the roofs are all the same and then I just put some pastel in the background just to make it look like we're sort of looking back through into a forest a bit more because it's sort of greens and browns so that's what I did for that one, kept it quite simple this one as well I wanted to keep simple I'm never sure what colour to colour a castle I really have no clue so uh, yeah I went all blue this time um, and I just did the same sort of background on both although I just put the yellow around the telescope maybe I should have drawn it brought it down a bit looking at it in the camera looks maybe a little bit old but kept all the leaves just one pencil all the same because they were so daunting I just just went for it colour colour and it, it just you know and just uh, it was fun and then I've put a bit of pastel behind it all so. again we've got a pastel background here um, a limited palette I use Norris pencils for this they're quite a faint um, colour there's a few bits I didn't do the tablecloth and the skull I left them white and the bone I purposely left them white but you can see that it's quite a um, less vibrant vibe because of the Norris pencil in fact it almost the green almost goes into the green background but yeah I just wanted to try them out again I haven't used them for ages now this page is interesting this soil was colored with my brown magic pencil so it the color isn't even throughout and I thought that was quite realistic with regards to what soil would look like. I didn't um, smooth the soil. I left it so that it looks quite bitty because I was thinking rocks and things like that. Inside the tunnel I also used a magic pencil but a grey and black one so you can see the colour isn't the same throughout but I smoothed that one a little bit with the blender and if you look closely you can see the difference whoops, between the smoothed and not smoothed and I also used the blue magic pencil for the sky but I did a few layers you can't really see I perhaps you can and I used Stedler for the rest because um, it, the detail is tiny <laughs> you have to have a really really tiny pencil so I did that so that was interesting now this one I used Giorgione pencils I kind of regretted it because I don't really like the way they went down they're a bit too dark and I don't know they almost look like it's done in pen which some pen pictures are amazing but I didn't that's not what I was looking for in my in this picture but anyway that was that now this one is a little video and this one isn't but um um on a mic trying to see what I used I'm not sure but I had fun doing the sunset and the different things in that one it was good fun now the frog, he is a video tutorial, I think there's three parts and uh, you can see all the um, dragonflies are done in the same colour. There's no background but um, I have done one with a background but I didn't with this one, I just kept him plain. I wanted him to just stand out, you know, that was fun. This is the little tutorial there for you, that was a fun one and uh, I love this picture, I've done it so many times, it's such good fun so uh, that's another sort of version of it and this one again is a tutorial somewhere this picture again I really like, I've done it in lots of different ways but this one I wanted to go really bright as you can see um, I did it quite a long time ago so I can't remember what I used uh, I'm suspecting it was probably Stedler just because of the size may have been, um, may have been polychromos actually so uh, that's a fun one again this one a tutorial quite handy if you want autumnal colours now this one is done in gel pen 
Now, I don't tend to colour a lot in gel pen. Um, I have been a little bit more lately. Actually, it's not gel pen at all. That is done in tripless fine liners, the uh, leaves. And all I've done is outline them. I haven't coloured them in, just the trees are coloured in. And I was trying to, that's right, I was trying to blend them here, going from orange to yellow. And uh, it went through the page. I remember that. Now these are, there's a little bit of gold and silver. So you can see there where it went through the page. It's only a little tiny bit, but I didn't try that again. Um, there's a tutorial for these blue eggs, but for this side, I just kept him brown. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's a video for that. I don't know. Um, but I've done done him in lots of different ways over the years, but I just wanted him to look brown for a change, and I enjoyed that. There's a video for this one, but not for this one. Um, this one I always feel looks Christmassy. It's got a bit of holly, so that's rather fun. That's that one. Now, these two are fairly recent. Now, the ones that I've done more recently are pictures that I haven't... You know, the ones you do first in the book tend to be the ones that are your favourites. I never, ever know what to do with this picture. I just don't really know whether these are supposed to be leaves or what it's supposed to really be. I took a colour cube card which had the sort of red, blue, yellow and I'm not sure it worked to be honest but I had a go. This one is done in Brute Funa metallic pencils um, which was rather fun. Um, I kept the green, the leaves all the same green, there's only, I only got a set of 12 so there's only two greens so and the other green didn't match the horses, the unicorns so I kept it quite plain and simple but it's fun. The little cute one, there's a little tutorial for that. And this one, because the leaves are so small, I just kept the colour the same throughout. Now, this one I did quite recently. Again, another castle. I just don't know how to colour them. <laughs> so I, I just did that colour, but I had lots of fun with all the greens. And the sort of grey... I tried to make it look a bit like it was a stone um, border. I don't know why, because the these, I think, are gargoyles, so that's why I did that. There is a video for this one. There is also a video for this one, but not the specific one, which is done in gel pen. Um, there was one on a planner, I think might have been last year, um, so there's a video. Now, there is one for this. He is so teeny tiny, but there is a video. And uh, here are our gargoyles and uh, a bit of gold pencil on that one kept quite plain i always feel that the background should be black sky but it's really difficult to do it behind all this and to make it work so i left it white yep video for that one this one was fun trying to make it look a little bit goldeny but it doesn't look gold but you know and then some silvery look it's not not that not that good but uh, i know i had a lot of fun these bits look quite good but perhaps not so much that one. But anyway, I enjoyed it. This one, there's a video for him. And uh, this one I did while watching TV, but I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing him. Now this one is done in, with Giorgio and pencils. I don't normally colour this page because there's just so much black in it. It doesn't always feel like it needs to be coloured. But I grabbed some of my favourite colours and uh, well, in this sort of purpley, pinky, bluey range, I did that one. Now this is done in Brute Funa Metallics. It was again one that I left quite near the end because I was because it's quite a daunting page. This dragon I've coloured about four times now because obviously in the no more in the Enchanted Forest books, it, there's two in each book, and I've coloured two books, and. In one of my versions of Enchanted Forest, there was a pull-out poster of the dragon in twice the size. So I have done him a lot of times, so I kept this one really simple and uh, really had fun. That was good. Yeah, here's a little tutorial, but this page I really enjoy colouring. I don't know what it is. There's something about the way the three dimension is drawn in 3D. It, some of the 3D doesn't quite work, but... Um, I just had a lot of fun um, with that one. I just like the grey, the stonework, the door, everything is just fun to colour. So that was good. Now this is one of the pictures in the book that isn't in the original Enchanted Forest. So obviously that makes it a lot of fun to colour. I can't remember whether I did a tutorial for either or both of these pages. Um, I don't 
don't know but I had fun with the sky here mixing up some colours um, I think those are Ergosoft I should imagine that's light magenta although there might be stud of pink and don't know <laughs> anyway that's that one and this bear he's quite plain and so I gave him some glitter um, these are gold stickles on the border just for a bit of fun um, and to make him a bit more exciting because this chap he's got all his um, plants and things growing on him I think I did a video for that one so uh, just wanted to make him a bit different and at the very end I just coloured that one in quite simply again I didn't do the um, didn't do the inside cover but that is another finished book um, I really like um, finishing books and showing you I hope um that was okay i hope you enjoyed if you did please hit a like drop me a little comment it's always nice to read your feedback and i do try and respond to everyone if i can so thank you so much for watching have a really lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>